Newbury been prancing around all over social media as this big bad wolf bully who want to fight grown men. I told Newbury in a video, acting tough in videos will put you in a box underground that you're dealing with grown men, 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 men. See, you too busy trying to tout around being this alpha male. You not that. You can't even stand up to a man. You should take care of your family and stop running around YouTube trying to act tough because he know where I live. So all of that tough talk, I'm laughing at all of that because you can always come to the door. Go get you another wife and shut your bitch ass up somewhere. Go make you some boys. Get off both of these nuts. Like, what is wrong with you, dude? You went around making videos talking about, he made me and my wife and daughter cry. The same dude that offered to have a fade with you. Who can respect that? You's a bitch. You won't even fight. He's in videos talking about, look at his shoulders, look at his this and all this other stuff, what and what he would do. Bro, I'm 6'1", 200 and something pounds. I'm taller than new breed. I'm larger than new breed. You won't fight the man who disrespected you and your wife, made your kids cry. All of that talk that he's talking online, it's comical to me because, again, I say and I say this again and again, the man know where I live. If it was really about that life and that serious, the man would pull up at that door, bring that noise, and he would be ended immediately. Nigga, I got, I got your, your wife and your kids crying, nigga, and I say, let's shoot a fade. Your bitch ass ain't even want to do that. How the hell is she supposed to respect you, but you so aggressive with her when she talk? You was a bitch, Ringo. I promise you a bitch. All you got to do is just come to my door. All you got to do, you see the door over there? You come to that door right there with noise? Come and kick that door. You kick that door, you end it in a box, bro. That's real talk. Do you understand? That's real life. So when men are online acting tough, I don't pay that stuff no mind. That stuff don't move me. All I'm saying is, if you're going to be tough, be tough about providing for your family. Be tough about making sure that your kids are good. Be tough about that. Put that kind of energy towards making money that can put kids through college. No. Be tough about seeking first the kingdom of God, bro. This is why you Negroes in this predicament now. Y'all wanted to separate church and state and wound up beefing over money. Unrighteous mammon. All this talk about making sure your family is good. Well, a drug dealer can do that. The heathen does that every day. To what cause? The scriptures say the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous, man. You come on camera boasting about your satanic employment, boasting about blood money, because the people's blood is on your hands, bro. You teaching many to go astray from Christ. And YouTube pays you a check to do so. I mean, really, that's what it boils down to. You get paid to war against the truth. New breed as well. That's what I call satanic employment. The Most High will not pardon you for serving the devil to make sure your family is good so that you can be at peace with demons in this life. Because there is no peace with demons once your soul leaves your body. That's why I always say, don't let your flesh write checks that your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. So miss me with that BS. When a man can pay his bills, when a man can go to Home Depot and feel proud to know like, yo, I bought my own lawnmower, bought my own furniture for my house. That right there ought to make a man feel proud of himself. That's one of the most vague, hypocritical things people say in this bubble called the Matrix. They use carnal things like paying their kids tuition off and making sure the mortgage is paid and just to wear this as a badge of honor and keeping in mind that Satan always appears an angel of light. So he always appears as if he's doing something righteous and normally using a human vessel to do that. I mean, the so-called white man makes sure his family is good off the blood, sweat, and equity of your backs. Does that make him a man? Two men come together as two daddies and adopt innocent children and make sure they want for nothing. Does that make them a man? You see how stupid that sound if we don't put these things into context using the scripture, which says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these things will be added unto you because then you got to go deeper into that. A lot of those things is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Because the scriptures also say, do not store up your treasures on earth where thieves break in and steal and moth and rust destroys. And if I was to go real deep into provision for your family, it is the righteous who pay for the earth, even for the unrighteous to have a roof over their heads and provide for their family. 
I'll give you an example. This is why God bargained with Abraham before he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He was trying to find 10 that were righteous, uh, even five that were righteous, so that for their sake, he would not destroy the earth. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So the righteous are paying for the earth with their righteousness so that God don't destroy the earth. Okay, and who are the righteous? Well, the scriptures say many are the afflictions of the righteous, according to Psalm 34, verse 19. In Luke chapter 6, Christ said, blessed are you who are poor in spirit. A rich man is not poor in spirit, all right? Again, because the righteous pay the bills for the earth with their righteousness for everyone to be here. This is why Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22 says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Okay, the wicked always has an outstanding sin debt. Okay, the wicked still. Okay, since man cannot outlive his sins, this is why God has to send them to the lake of fire. And not only that, he visits their iniquity on their children and their children's children up to the third and fourth generation. You don't know your Bible, man. Just looking at you, you're stupid. Okay, you think you always get on camera and at the beginning of your videos, you pause in as if you trying to think up some things to say, like you got wisdom or something. Dude, you're stupid. You don't know the scriptures. You need to read your word and, and get learned in the scriptures. Yeah, it'll take some time away from your content production, but at least you'll be in right standing with the Most High. Why did Laban, who had more money than Jacob, why did he keep conning Jacob? Because Jacob was righteous and Laban understood that his house would not be cursed so long as Jacob was there with him. Okay, so that's another example on a smaller scale, how the righteous pays the bills for the wicked. Okay, let's talk about this in the comments. Okay, it's a real deep teaching. And in future videos, I'm going to talk more about this because there's this lie that's out there. Again, guys like Ringo TV, who is severely wicked. I mean, this dude make it like he's working hard. No, the devil, demons can possess a man just like the man who was cutting himself in the tombs. The scriptures say that this man had this abnormal strength. Okay, because he had legions of demons that possessed him. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like these guys who fight in the UFC and in boxing, they're not that talented. They may know how to fight, but a lot of these dudes are possessed with demons. Okay, they mark their flesh up with tattoos, and these demons come and possess their human host. Like the scriptures talk about the witch, the sorcerer who once the demon was cast out of him, he was no longer able to do that sorcery. Okay, there are millions of sorcerers who have devil obligations and they use the, the, the witchcraft to make themselves, to earn themselves a decent wage. All right? A real man understands that the heathen lives in the fatness of the land for a period of time. And these devils did a lot of stealing to change the perception of what constitutes hard work. That's why they spent so many decades building what we call the matrix that we see to this day. This is why Christ in his infinite wisdom to counter the wiles of the devil, he said no one goes to build a tower without counting the cost. He who seeks to save his life will lose his life. All those who forsake land and houses and wives for his name's sake, shall inherit eternal life. So I know some of you will mean, what does he mean by forsake wives? The Most High in his infinite wisdom knew that the woman would file for divorce 80% of the time and that this can potentially be a burden to the man because the woman is the weaker vessel, okay? So he was talking about the wives who divorce their husbands. Let that man forsake all of that. Because you're not going to have control over whether or not your wife serves the most high. You're not going to have control over her committing adultery, even over your children, whether or not they grow old 
and serve the Most High. That's why the scriptures say also forsaking children. Okay, a man is not supposed to sit here and wear a badge of honor and all his thoughts are carnal. Okay, he has no discernment for the spiritual things. The spiritual things are folly to him. You trying to you so trying so hard to be a victim. Like you want to be a professional victim? You think that's cool? You think it's cool being a professional a professional victim on camera? Newbury hurt my feelings. Newbury did this. Nigga, I helped your bitch ass move from one state to the next. You're never gonna live that down. That house you went, I helped you find it. The car you driving, I took you to go get it. Then I help you move. You will never live that down because you won't shut your bitch ass up and live your life. I'm haunting your house. Your house is haunted by me. <laughs> <laughs> my essence and spirit is still present and it's haunting you day in and day out you can't even enjoy your sabbath without talking about me and i ain't, wasn't even worried about you you got this big pretty house and you running around room to room talking about me still go enjoy your life enjoy your life ring ho because you don't want no smoke well no breed you wanted to go to a new level Ain't that what you said? Okay. This is your new level. I can tell that Ringo is like an irritant. He's like a parasite crawling under your skin and it, it annoys you. I can see that. He's like a toxic baby mama to you in these YouTube streets. But spiritually, you laid with him. Okay. Y'all became one flesh from an ideological standpoint. You're sitting here talking about you're haunting his house. Well, I believe he's haunting what's between your ears because he's bad for your business and vice versa. Ringo TV wants his pound of flesh for what he believes you stole from him in the form of viewers who departed somehow because of your manipulation. And there may be some truth to that. And honestly, he can't get to you the way that he would really like, like how he got to Dirty Low Dow to a degree, and it irks him. He's like that baby mama that stuffs five bars of Snickers into your gas tank, and he sits in his car a few blocks up to see your reaction. But you asked for it. You tried to pretend that you knew nothing about him defending R. Kelly and talking to 11-year-old girls. And that's a lie. Something wrong with this boy, man. I gotta do damage control. Ringo's cooking. Ringo's on point. He, he know what it's... I ain't seen the video. Damage control on what? On an Amazon registry? What are we doing damage control for? Hey, 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 baby. Hey, hey. Did people buy more items right after our video? Yeah. The hell damage control? People were still supporting. People been supporting the whole time. I haven't lost a subscriber. I haven't lost a support. I haven't lost... Nothing. Ring ho. I'm not TD Jakes. I'm not Pastor Dow. I'm not none of these people, bro. You're wasting your time, sir. It's like you're trying to get your mojo and your juice back for being that guy who exposed false prophets. The problem is, nigga, I'm not a false prophet. The problem is, you need to work on yourself. Worry about yourself. You are a false prophet. I mean, what have you done to remove the wool from the people's eyes? You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. I mean, I've been cooking both you Negroes with these scriptures and you have no answer for the evidence I presented against polygyny. And the people want to know. They've been coming in the comments and they want answers. Hypocrite. I said, dude, I ain't pastor now. I ain't gonna lie, Rufus is cooking dial, bro. You running him down, bro. Hmm. And then they made up rumors for like a month straight that I work with Pastor Dow. New Bree's working with Pastor Dow. Y'all niggas just gossip. I'll just be making up stuff. What I said was Pastor Dow still a better man than Ringo. That's what I said in my video. Because at least Pastor Dow, he's a real life person. At least, at least Pastor Dow is in the physical world, nigga. No one should be saying anything positive about Dirty Low Dow. That's a 58-year-old man who is in too deep with devil obligations. He is far worse even than you and Ringo TV. Do you think he will be at peace with the Most High without giving up his wives and all the empire he obtained by stealing the people's money? And the crazy thing is as wicked as New Breed and Ringo TV are, I believe they at least still have a soul. 
but only God knows that. Dirty Low Dow, though, he's one of the closest things you'll see to a demon in the flesh. I think we should start calling him the Buckeye Demon. Ringo TV, deep down, he's just scared. I mean, he's scared of what he will have to do to feed his family without them YouTube checks. New Breed, I believe, just wants to be a legend. He wants to be remembered as a revolutionary. And that's why I call him Huey P. New Breed. But the devil playing them both. Somebody said listening to N-Word is killing my ass. Well, mama, mama, if I'm hurting your ears, you know what I'm saying, um, you might want to, um, you know, you know what you can do. Because at the end of the day, it is my platform. So uh, you know what you can do, right? You can, you know, exit stage left if you make, you know. How you gonna come to my my entertainment channel where I be talking reckless and then be like, you're hurting my ears. Why are you watching? I ain't block you with nothing, but you know, don't get me don't get me messed up. I will block your ass. <laughs> oh man. You're a funny guy. I feel the same way when trolls come here with their foolishness. Anyway, do I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Open rebuke is better than secret love. So in saying that, there is more to come about this new breed baby mama situation. Because the people deserve to know how does this define polygyny. All right. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and enjoy the rest of your day.